Hi guys and welcome to episode 4 of uh, my Skyrim feature of Player Homes Latest and Greatest and today I have a couple of new Player Homes again uh, there will be a feature for the greatest Player Homes coming up, I've done some footage for that um, today the first place we're going to look at is a place called Bane Hollow Camp that's that place just in front of me there through the gate and it is basically a player home geared at being a bandit character and it's just here just um, west of Lake Ilianta I can't actually pronounce that name as you've probably just guessed um, so yeah it does have its own marker and it is uh, fast travelable um, so let's take a look around I do like the look of this mod it looks pretty pretty nice it has some cool features inside as well which we'll look at and it does have a load of followers as well, which are fellow Stupid bandits. Dog. And I'm quite suitably wearing my bandit cuirass and standing in a bush as well, apparently. Uh, so yeah, talk to bandits, and look, you can request them to be your follower. So that's pretty cool, I do like that. I've uh, not seen many people geared towards playing as a bandit, um, and it's quite an interesting idea. I've not actually thought about doing it myself. Um, what so after install looking around this mod, I might actually do that. So let's have a look inside. So on the inside, it does resemble a uh, ruin area, as you can see, and um, it is quite a large area. So just go across this bridge here, and you can see a couple of more followers down there, and a dog, and a nice little living area with um, a cooking spit and everything. So we'll go, we'll go down and take a look at that. I'll take the long route for realism. Okay. Alright, so there's a smithing area just on the way in here as well, which is quite cool. Oh, hello. An Argonian bandit, like that. Ours is to smile yep, and he's also recruitable, which is nice. I do like the fact there's so many like Smithy bandit followers, so you can go on raids and stuff. That's nice. That's really cool. Um, let's take a look through this door on my left. Okay, so this leads to the bandit torture chamber. <laughs> Nicely covered in blood and a few skeletons to boot. That's cool. Oh, and some potions there. On the oh, and the chest as well. Very nice. I've always wondered what you have to do with these torch tools as well. It'd be really nice if there's a mod where you can actually use them on people. Nice being the probably the most inappropriate word to use there, but you know what I mean. It'd be an interesting feature to add to Skyrim. There we go. It's more friendly. Okay, let's take a look up the stairs. I'm guessing this just leads back up to the top. Yeah, it actually leads across to the other bridge. Um, and through here, I believe it's on the yep, on the left, we have a vault. Which I believe this is the Yeah. This is the vault where all your valuables uh, valuables can be kept. And there's already quite a stash here as well, which is quite nice. I, d I, d I love them little chests, they're cool. I get really excited by simple things, don't I? Oh. Probably shouldn't tell my girlfriend that. Otherwise she might think that she is simple. I've got some nice little loot as well. I do like that, looks like the bandits have been busy. Okay, let's take another look around the place. Okay, so just at the bottom of the stairs, we have a escape route, I believe, here. Or is it... It looks like the um, end of one of the, the uh, ruins that you go through. Oh, it's cool, actually. It's a nice little lighted area and a bed as well. It's quite nice. I'm guessing this is my private quarters, where no other bandits should come. Because I have obviously they're going to be the leader of the bandits. I'm going many raids with my brethren. It's a really cool, nice little area actually. I do like that. And is this the. I'm guessing this might be the escape route. I did read on the mod authors page that there is one. Yeah, and this opens up to Skyrim. I'm just going to check where this opens up at. Quite interested to know. I have no idea what time of day it is either. Oh, it's quite a nice, bright day outside. Okay, so it opens up just outside the, the camp there. That's cool, nice little escape route in case the law comes a knocking. Okay, so there is also a nice seat here where you can sit at the head of the gang and look out on them as they eat their own food. And also watch the dog move about in the middle. Stupid dog. 
and quite a lot of people in here do not like the dog. Apparently he's quite stupid. Pretty much about three people have just walked up to him and told him that he's stupid. Stupid dog. See? He's a very stupid dog, apparently. <laughs> I feel really sorry for him, actually, to be honest. Uh, kind of like him. Stupid dog. Yep, he's a stupid dog. <laughs> okay, so that was the Bane Hollow Camp. I hope you like the look of it. I certainly do. And it's really actually interested me um, towards the idea of playing it as a bandit character. Um, it was really quite nice. So next up we have the Nairiki um, player home, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it's a player home that is geared towards ranger and hunter characters. And it is situated just um, north of the South Calf River, um, just southwest of Royxted, and just east of Old Holderan, which is a place I've never ever been to before. Um, I didn't even know it existed until I installed this mod, so I'm not sure if that's a modded area that I've just never been to, or whether it's vanilla. But anyway, this is Nairiki, the player home geared towards rangers and hunters. So, I've heard a couple of wolves about, so I've got my sword out. Um, so I'm just going to wander up to the house and take a look. On the outside here we have a smelter. There's the wolf. Jesus, come on. There you go. Oh, it's two! I suppose they all hunt in packs, don't they? Thank you very much. Oh god. Is that a dragon? Jesus Christ, can't get a break. So, there's a smell outside. <laughs> and up the rest of the wooden stairs. And we get to the nice little platform on the way in. Alright, some nice stuff outside here. Bit of clutter. And it requires a key. So there is a small quest. Um, I'm going to take the note off the door. Um, I'm not going to read this. I do not want to spoil any of the quests to receive the house for you. So I'm just going to go off and do that quest and get inside. So once inside you find it's a nice homely wooden house. I really do like this kitchen area here. It's quite nice. Um, and I do like obviously this bow display area as well being it is geared towards hunters and rangers. And I love this little little re recreation area with the cushions and the furs. That's pretty cool. I do like that. Oh, and a bear there. Actually, uh, didn't see that on my way in. Okay, let's wander through here. There's a nice bed here in the corner. A couple of uh, heads of animals on the walls and the antlers as well. Very uh, traditional for a hunter's house. What we've got here? We've got some ah oh, furless, fur sleeveless armor some other items. Um, there's actually a little bit of a downstairs here where I can see we've got an alchemy table. I did read that there is no enchanting table with this mod. Um, the mod also believed that obviously an enchanting table doesn't really fit in with a ranger or hunter character and but obviously they would probably use alchemy to make salves and potions and that so that's why that's there. Um, another armor set here as well. I don't think that's removable. Um, also, most of the things in this house are static, and that's to um, prevent incidents with the collision in Skyrim where items scatter about all over the place. So that's quite a nice idea as well, just to keep the house nice and tidy. There's a mannequin here to store some items on. I love the little clutter area here on the, uh, on the uh, what do you call it, the chest, the chest of drawers. And there's a door behind me here, which leads out into a nice little bathing area. That's really quite nice, that. I do like that. Oh, and there's a, another door here that goes into the sauna. Very nice. That's quite cool. I do like that. It's pretty fantastic. Okay, let's take a further look around the house. Let's go back upstairs. And go out onto the balcony type area just out here. Okay, so out here we have loads of things geared towards sort of like a hunter over here on the table where the uh, animals have been carved up so it's very nice if um, you like that sort of gruesome effect so yeah <laughs> quite nice 
tanning rack to tan obviously the levers that you just sheared off the animals. Um, some slotfish scales there to pick up and eat. And uh, just a nice little area out here to, you know, get to work and do your craft of hunting. That's quite nice. It's got a nice little view as well of the mountains and the surrounding area. That's really quite a nice view. It's really cool. I can still hear that dragon flying about. Oh, there he is over there in the distance. It's just a really nice view. It's really cool. Okay, let's just see what this area is. Oh, so we have a workbench here. I do like that workbench. It's really, really cool. That's really nice. I've not seen one like that. It's really, really original. So look, some small... Ah, oh, smithing supplies. Ah, pretty fancy. I do like that. Oh, and an anvil for the forge here as well. I nearly missed that. Ah, so yeah, really nice little smithing, crafting, hunting, foraging area. I really do like that. This mod is really quite nice. It's simple yet really well detailed and has everything you need. Um, I like this little archery range they've got here as well um, to shoot off the platform at. That's really cool. I do like that. It's just really well thought through. Um, I definitely recommend uh, downloading and installing this one, especially if you play as a ranger or a hunter. Um, but it's just a nice player home to have quite close to Markarth as well. Um, and it's in a nice, nice scenic area as well. So that brings us to the end of episode 4. If you've liked any of the mods that I've shown uh, in this video, please head over to the mod authors pages and download. And of course, if you do use the mod in your game, please also endorse. And if you're liking this mod feature that I'm doing about the latest and greatest player homes in Skyrim, please do click the like button, it means a lot. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.